problem for the LAPD. Detectives think they finally solved it. And the trail led them to one of their own. Reporter Mary Beth McDade live in Van Nuys tonight where a love triangle came untangled and became a crime. You guys, that is so right. You know, originally they thought that this heinous crime that was committed here at the Balboa townhomes was at the hands of robbers. Now, homicide detectives believe that the person who committed this crime was sitting right across the hall from them for many years. Very relieved and thrilled. Sherry Ross Musson's former Glendale Adventist Medical Center colleagues say an arrest and her murder has been a long time coming. They say Ross Musson had called into work on that fateful day 23 years ago when her husband found her beaten and shot to death at their Van Nuys condo. A lot of shock. Nobody could believe it had happened to one of our nursing directors. What's even more shocking is police have arrested one of their detectives for the killing, Stephanie Lazarus. Lazarus, seen here being interviewed a few years ago about a deadly carjacking, is believed to have had a long-term relationship with Rasmussen's new husband. The 26-year police veteran was arrested this morning at Parker Center after being linked to the murder by DNA evidence. This particular case had it had something where DNA could be extracted, and that's what brought it to the top. Can you tell us what that was? No. Rasmussen's parents, who originally offered a reward to find their daughter's killers, gave a statement saying the family was not surprised at the arrest. We can only praise the work of the current chief of police and his loyal detective department. As for Rasmussen's former neighbors who lived in fear of a random killer for many years, they say they're now relieved the case has been solved. I'm happy for the family. I'm happy for the family, but, I, you know, I'm glad it wasn't robbers. It was somebody that somebody knew. Wow. That's really sad. Sure. Stephanie, I don't know if you know my partner. Hey, oh, great. Hi. Sir, nice yeah, to meet you. you guys. How's it going? Good. Just milling around. Uh, well, have a seat. What this is, is, uh, I didn't want to bring this up in your squadron. Oh, no, it's fine. I think we're good. We're bring, you're going to bring somebody in, right? Yeah, well, I'll like, oh, explain okay. the whole thing to you. I don't want to talk about this in the squadron because well, okay. I, I don't know who people are listening. That's true. That's and if we go to my side, everybody's yeah. always wondering what everybody oh, else yes, is doing. No okay. But uh, like we're talking about being busy and stuff, we've been assigned a case that we've been looking at. Okay. okay. It's a new case. And reviewing the case, there's some notes uh, to see as far as your name being mentioned. Do oh, you, okay. Do you know John Rutten? John Rutten? John Rutten? Rutten. Right. Oh, yeah, I went to school with him. You did? Yeah. How long did you know him? Gosh, I went to school in, um, let's see, went to UCLA in 1978. I started and, um, you know, met him at school at the dorms. Mm -hmm. um, were you guys friends, close friends? Yeah, we're very close friends. I yeah. Mean, I mean, what's this all about? Well, it's regarding, it's a case we're working on and it involves John and in there, some of the statements we, we reviewed. Uh, you know, there's notes and stuff that he, that he knew you and stuff. Oh, yeah. I mean, we were good friends. Um, lived in the dorms for, I lived in the dorms for two years. Um, you guys lived in the same dorm? Yeah. Or, oh, okay. Yeah, Dystra. Okay. Were you guys just friends or anything else or? Yeah, we were, we were good friends. Yeah. Was there ever any relationship or anything that developed between you guys? Yeah, I mean, we dated, uh, uh -huh. you know, um, I mean... Is, what's this all about? Well, it's relating to uh, his wife. Okay. Okay. Did you know her? Not really. I mean, mm -hmm. I knew that he got married years ago. Uh huh. Did you ever meet her? God, I don't know. Um, Do you know who she was or anything? Well, I. Let me think. God, it's been a long time ago. Mm -hmm. um, um, I, I may have met her. Um, geez. You know. Yeah. Uh, well, let me see. Let me ask you. You said you you dated John. How long did you guys date? 
I mean, well, are you guys, is this something, I mean, you said that I was going to interview somebody about art, and how well, you guys are, here's, here's, <laughs> I mean. Stephanie, here's the situation, it's basically, we, you know, we knew that this, when we saw this in the in, in this chrono, that maybe, you know, there was some relationship there, that's what the chrono seemed to indicate, and we didn't want to come up to you at your desk and ask those kinds of questions or do anything. You know how up there people can see what's going on if you go into an interview room or people are in there getting oh, supplies. Okay. So we, we wanted to afford you some privacy, some confidentiality okay. to talk about this because we thought it might be, you know, something, you know, you're married to someone else, obviously, and so forth, and that you may not want to, you know, talk about these things in that setting where someone, you know, we don't want the rumor mill or gossip or any of that kind of stuff yeah, to I mean, start. that's fine. I mean... So we, we, we did this just as, as a means to try and speak to you in okay, just a confidential I mean, just place where you, you know, where where your business isn't out there for other people in, in well, you know, I mean, your division yeah, to know I about. Mean, you know, God, that's been a million years ago. I mean, you know... Um, what year is it now? 2009? I mean, I graduated in 82. 82, mm. yeah. Um, you know, we dated. Um, I dated other guys. I'm sure he dated other girls. Um, mm. Well, let me ask you, <laughs> roughly, how long would you, <clears throat> would you say you guys dated? Oh, jeez. Um, I couldn't even say. I mean, I started school there in 78. Mm -hmm. I started UCLA in 1978. Mm -hmm. I graduated in 82. Um, I don't even remember what year he graduated, if it was a year or two before me. Okay. Um, I think he was a little bit older than I was. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, I can't remember if he was born, let's say I was born in 60, 1960. I don't know if he was born in 58 or 59. I mean, I, you know, um, I mean, I knew his parents, I knew his sister, his brother went to Northridge. Mm -hmm. um, um, you know, sister spent the night at my house before. Obviously, I spent the night at his house before. He probably spent the night at my house before. Um, you know, I, I yeah. you know, I don't. I, well, correct me if I'm wrong, because from what you're telling me, is you, you guys dated while you were in college together, right? Yeah, and probably after college. Um, I'm, I, I can't. Jeez, um, I'm trying to think when I met my husband. I met my husband in. When did I meet Scott? Um, Let's see, I was teaching Dare, because I met Scott when I was teaching Dare up in Oregon, but we had long stopped, you know, dating before that. So you um, haven't talked to him for a long time? Oh, I, I think I haven't talked to him in a long time. Um, I couldn't even tell you when the last time I talked to him. Um, I met Scott, I'm thinking in 92, maybe, um, April of 92. It was Scott being your husband. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I was teaching Dare. Let's see, what year is this? this is, we'll be married. I got married in 1996. I think I met Scott in 92. Prior to that, I couldn't tell you how long I had talked, you know, talked to John prior to that. But um, since you since you met your husband, Scott, you hadn't talked to him? I mean, he may have called me uh, once or twice uh -huh. before we got married. Right. Um, you know, geez, I, I, lived, I moved to see me in 1994. Because I lost my house in the earthquake. Oh, really? Um, uh, quite honestly, I probably keep in contact with a few people from the dorms. We we all we all lived on the tenth floor, um, and um, there's about three or four people I keep in contact with. There's probably like six or eight of us that were all really close. Mm -hmm. And who are those um, people? Oh, geez, um, Diana Basta. Um, the people I still keep I, I haven't been in contact with her in a long time um, I mean wh wh you know, what's, uh, what's I mean what's this all about I mean well let me ask you what ended the relationship between you and John you know I don't it was kind of a weird relationship I mean we we, we dated um, I can't say that he was my boyfriend I don't know that he would consider me his girlfriend um, we just we dated we did things I played sports in college he played basketball his brother played basketball um, it, it, we just you know it just didn't work out I mean I don't know what to tell you it was like I went out with other guys um, saw other guys I went on lots of vacations um, you know and, and once you guys split were you guys still friends or kind of uh, you know problems? I mean Is it yeah. Friendly, not friendly? No, I don't think it was not friendly. I mean, we were friendly. Um, uh, I know that we went to Hawaii 
um, at one point, um, another friend of mine who's actually dying right now uh, was uh, went to Hawaii with us um, at some point. Um, Remember roughly when that was? Jeez, oh, um, let me think. Mm, I'd have to check my pictures, um, or I'd, I'd say I'd ask Greg, but my friend Greg is like dying of liver cancer right mm. now. Um, yeah, I mean, I you know. And you were it, saying that. Um, the, it's 2009 now. Had you ever met his wife? I may have. Do you know? Do you remember her name or anything? Or. Um. Um. Or what she did for a living, or where she worked, or anything uh, about her. Well, I think she. I th I'm going to say that I think she was a nurse. Um. I mean, I can't even remember how he, he said he met her. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, yeah, I mean, it's been so long ago. Well, let me ask you, did you go to their wedding, you know? No, I didn't go to their wedding. Um, no, I don't, did not go to their wedding. Um, I couldn't even tell you what year he got married. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, it's, it's been a million years ago. Do you remember if you ever talked to her? Because it seems like a lot of you who were <laughs> at, at the school at UCLA, you guys kind of were friends during and after school, so... I don't know if you guys still associated afterwards when, once he was married or anything. With him? Yeah. No, I don't think so. I <laughs> mean, I would say, you know, the the people that were on the dorm floor, we'd have, we'd have get-togethers. Um, there's probably like four or five. I don't think he ever came. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't think, no, it was, there was like, it was mostly girls, you know, um, a girl named Smita, Diane, um, there's another, there's two Dianes, but the one Diane, I don't think she ever came. I kind of lost contact with her. We were good friends on the floor. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't, you know, again, I, I mean, what, you know, I, I don't understand why you're talking about some guy I dated a million years ago. Well, do you know what happened to his wife? Yeah, I know she got killed. What did um, you, what did you hear about that? I, I saw a poster at work. Um, I'm sure I spoke to him about it. Um, I think I spoke to another friend of his about it. Um, and how did, how did you first learn about that? Jeez. <laughs> Someone could have called me. I could have heard it at work. Um, I think at one point there may have been a flyer or something. I know a good friend of his, um... Were you on the job back then when that happened? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I'm sure I was on the job. That's why I would have heard about it with the flyer. Um, he had a good friend, Mike... Mike Boldrick, Mike, hmm. um, anyways, a, 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 he may have lived in the dorms, I don't remember if that's how I met him, um, I, I may have talked to him, I mean, you know, I don't remember how I heard, I mean, I don't even remember what year it was. And you think, you, you thought, you said you thought his wife was a nurse, do you have any idea where she was working at the time, or did um, he ever mention that to you? Was it a hospital or a doctor's office? I'm or? sure he must have mentioned it. Now, now that you're bringing that up, I think she worked at a hospital somewhere. And yeah, I may have met her at a hospital. Um, I may have talked to her once or twice. Um, at, a, at a hospital? Or more. Um, but, you be, know. but being that you were kind of, you used to see uh, John, you know, was it everything okay between you guys? I mean, there was never anything uncomfortable or anything between you and her? Um... You know, I don't know. I mean, it's God, it's been so many years. I mean, uncomfortable. I mean, I, I can't even, I can't even remember if we had a conversation. I mean, we may have, I may have, I may have seen her at his apart. You know, it, uh, geez, how many years ago is that? I don't even know what year she, you know, got killed. Where was his apartment? On Roscoe. Okay. Yeah, Roscoe and, um, um, East or west of DeSoto, uh, either east or west of DeSoto. Do you know where he moved after, did, did he move after he got married, or do you know, or? Oh, I'm sure he did. Did you know um, where he was living, or? Somewhere in the valley. Did you ever visit him and his wife? No. No? Never no. went out to, you know, get together, dinners, anything I know, of that nature? no, no. Like I said, his sister used to come over. His sister had, had, had come to my place. I knew his, I knew his brother because his brother played basketball at Northridge. Um, in fact, I was just coming across some pictures that I had just scanned. 
uh, scanned from, um, I take a lot of photos, uh -huh. um, like 10,000. And I just did a service where I scanned everything. I um, mean, I'd seen some pictures of his brother playing well, basketball. Well, you just put them all on your computer so you could have them yeah. accessible and do oh, things yeah. with them? Well, my partner is a big photo thing, and he had a deal to scan. Uh -huh. So I spent a ton of time just scanning photos. I mean, I paid a company to do it. Mm -hmm. um, so I've got photos of, I mean, his brother, his sister, you know. 10,000 pictures? Oh, yeah. How long did that take them? Months. <laughs> Now, what, what do they do? They put that on a. I'm just curious they, myself. Do they DVD. put it on. A, they a get, the, get the all on one DVD. They don't need like no. a hard drive or anything. No, no. There's like, I think eleven DVDs. Yeah, I haven't. Even, I don't even have time. Oh, they, it's it's a series of DVDs that they put them on. Oh yeah. Oh okay. Yeah, I mean I got. I'm not that familiar with computer stuff, oh, so yeah. that's why I was asking. It's like eleven DVDs. Oh okay. So, you know, um, I haven't had a chance to go through them. I, I, you could go through and pick which ones you don't want. I don't have time to do that. Right. Yeah. You know, so I so saw, like you said, did I, uh, you know, I, I don't think we ever socialized. Um, you know, uh, he'd still call me. Um, I can't say that I would, I mean, if he's married, I don't know that I would have called him. I mean, maybe, who knows? I, I You know, I, I don't know. It's been a million years ago. Well, how long was John married before his wife died? I couldn't, I have no idea. I have no idea. And uh, after his wife died, did, did you talk to him again or... Anything? Yeah, I mean, I did talk to him. Mm -hmm. I talked to him, probably his parents, um, probably some other friends. Um, you know, I'm sure I talked to him. Yeah. Um, but you you don't you're not sure where he moved to after he got married. No idea. I mean, never I, went over to to visit him or. I don't think. I mean, I don't or, think so. I mean, um, I don't know. I don't. I mean, I don't think I did. Um, I mean, I know he lived on Roscoe for a long, long time. Um, I mean, he, I may know. I mean, he may have told me where they lived, uh -huh. somewhere in the valley. I mean, he may have said, he, I lived over such and such, but I, I couldn't tell you specifically where. But you don't remember specifically ever going over to visit him or visit them at where, wherever I, he moved when he left Roscoe? I, I, I honestly, I don't know. I don't think so, but, okay. I, you know... I don't want to say, no, I don't think so. And then he says, oh, yeah, she came over for something, dropped something off. You know, I, I'm, it, I don't know. So if you did go over there, just be like a, a quick thing, like like you're saying, drop something off or... Maybe. Um, you, I, but you don't remember as far as like going there to have dinner or like a social, anything at the house, party? Well, if you guys know something, I, I just, I can't, I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, but... After a... John's wife died. I, you said you may have been talking to him. Did uh, your relationship start up again? I would say no. Um, again, can you give me a year? I mean, this well, is like 2009. She, she died in 1986? Yeah, I think it was 86. 1986. Okay. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm faintly remembering that um, I went to Hawaii. Mm -hmm. With my friend Greg. Greg and I got certified for scuba diving. Um, and I'm thinking that John met us there, meaning Greg and I. Um, that could have been... I got certified toward the end of 88. Or, I mean, 20, yeah, 88, 89. Because um, I got recertified again. And it had been like over... 10, 10 years, so I got recertified. My husband and I got recertified. Um, and I'm pretty sure that John met us there. Um, again, I have to tell you what year it was, I'd have to look at my pictures. Um, you know, uh, and other than that, I can't even say he may have called me, you know, at my home. Um, I may have called him. Um, I don't think. He got together with our group. I um, you don't think after his wife's death. Uh, or even before, I don't. You know, I, I, uh, we went to weddings together. I, you know. Did you? I've got pictures. I like I said, I couldn't tell you years. It's been a million years ago. After he after he got uh, married or whatever, were you, were you dating anybody in hmm. particular? Or, 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 or and that was what steady? what year? Nineteen eighty six. You said. I think he got married. Got, yeah, in around eighty five, eighty six, something like that. 
Were you seeing anyone seriously, or? God, I couldn't say. Um, geez, I'm trying to think. I mean, um, you know, I dated a fireman. Um, what was his name? Mike Arndt. Um, and uh, I'm trying to think. Was when he I LAFD him, or? He was LAFD. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm trying to think when I went. I probably met Mike. I went to Devonshire. Let's see, I left Hollywood in 80, I, I worked Hollywood 84 to 85, I think, and then I went to Devonshire, and that's when I met Mike um, and some other firemen. And what, the station I, next door? No, actually. Because <laughs> I used to work no, Hollywood, so no. I was just wondering if it was the station next door. No, 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 door. it was in, when I worked Devonshire, I met Mike. Oh, okay, um, all right. And I'm trying to think. I went to Devonshire in 85, and I'm thinking that... I would have met him probably sometime shortly after I went to Devonshire because I met him and his, I actually met his buddies at a fire. Um, and then Mike and I dated, you know, just really kind of casually. Uh-huh. Um, and we remained very, I mean, we remained good friends. Um, you still in touch with him or? Unfortunately, he passed away. Oh, really? He died in a, um, he had a car crash, um, he did uh, race cars, and um, he went heading into a wall. Mm. <sighs> I couldn't tell you what year that was, um, but he passed away. He was in a coma, and they pulled the uh, the plug. Right. Seems like. Mm. Uh, anyway, um, so you know, I couldn't even tell you what what year. I'm thinking I went to Devonshire in '85, and I know I met the guys because it was kind of a funny incident of how I met them, and that's how I remember. It was sometime probably 85. Right. Um, you know, if we specifically, I don't even know if they remember. The other two are now married to somebody else because I kind of, all three, I mean. Did you, you kind know. of socialize, like when you were out with Mike, did those guys come out with you too? Was it kind of like, did you do stuff with, no, with actually, his friends? Or? Well, um, there were three, there was two firemen, Eric and Gary. Um, I met them first. Then they introduced me to Mike. So that's how I met Mike and Mike dated, Mike, Mike and I dated. Mm-hmm. So, um, and, and not, I wouldn't even say, I couldn't even tell you for how long, because then it would say, we decided, eh, you know, it wasn't working out and we'd be better friends. And, you know, he introduced me, I think, to some other guy on that, who now is on LAPD, um, uh, Randy Cordobas, um, I don't think he's I know a him. detective. He's got a twin brother who's on the fire department. That's how I met Randy. Um, because he had a twin brother, identical twin on the fire department. Okay. Um, and anyway, you, you I dated him. him. When I couldn't tell you, it was before he came on the job. Oh, um, before Randy came on the job. Yeah. Oh, okay. And that was, um, I I'm, God, I'm trying to remember if Mike, Mike may have. I'm trying to remember. Mike may have dated. Um, a girl that he dated. Oh, God, it sounds too weird. Um, Randy may have dated a gal that Mike was dating, and that, and then Mike, Randy broke up with that gal. I couldn't even tell you the gal's name if I'm even thinking of the story right. And then I started dating Randy. Yeah. Oh. I, you know, so again, I mean, not like I was a huge floozy or anything, but... No, but, you, you know, know, I mean, a lot I of mean, times, right, at least from my female partners that I've had, you know, it's hard dating guys that aren't involved in kind of our circle, right? Because some a lot, some guys are intimidated by, you know, yeah, women actually, police Randy, officers Randy, and... Yeah, Randy was like an engineer at the time. Uh, he was like a some kind of an engineer. On a truck, on a rig, on a fire truck? No, no, um, an engineer. Um, oh, a professional engineer. Yeah, I, and then okay. I think he lost a job and then came on, on the department. I see. So... Um, but getting back to some stuff, as far as you recall, after John's wife died, did you start a relationship again with, with John, or dating casually, or anything like that? Like I said, he met Greg and I in Hawaii, okay? Um, that was something you guys kind of planned together, like, go as a group, or you, you ran into him? Or? No, I I think that... <laughs> Obviously, I must have talked to him, and I said, "Hey, I'm going to Hawaii with my buddy Greg. We're we're, sco- we're, we're scuba. We just got certified scuba diving. Um, 
uh, we're going to be in Hawaii. Hey, if you want to come and join us, come join us. Right. And I, I think that's what it was. Okay. Um, I, may, I may have asked some other people to as well. Um, you know, uh, what island did we go to? I think the big island in Kauai. He either met us on the big island or Kauai. I'm thinking of uh, Greg and I might have scuba dived a lot in, on the big island as well as Kauai. I'm, I, I don't remember which island. Again, I'd have to look at my pictures. Um, I traveled a lot uh -huh. um, on my vacations. I mean, I was always gone for at least a month. Um, and I would go places, and I would either run into people or, you know, you know meet people. Um, and Greg, uh, this Greg we're talking about, he was like a, someone you were dating or just a buddy? Or? No, you know what, I would, I would say... We started out um, probably just buddies, um, and either I was with somebody or he was with somebody. But it was all we it was kind of like we ended up just kind of being like brother and sister. Um, and maybe he wanted something more, but um, you know it just it never you know worked out. But we we, we did things together. Um, you know I would consider him. I probably known him. Let's see, I've been on the job almost 26 years. I've probably known Greg 23, 24 years. Um, so you still talk to him? Oh yeah, he's dying of ca liver oh, cancer he's right now. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. yeah. So, um, so uh, you know, I I consider him a good friend. Um, mm -hmm. You know, um, you know, I don't know what to tell you on that. Uh, um, I mean, when when you heard about uh, John's wife being killed, I mean, what was your what was your reaction? I mean, when did you thought you heard about it, what through a friend or in a, in a bulletin or Either something? A, a friend or a bulletin. Um, I obviously, I mean, I called. I called the family. Um, I, you know, I called maybe some of his friends that 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 I knew. And I mean, obviously, it shocked you if you're if I heard it at work, you know, um, which I may have. I, I faintly remember a bulletin going around. Um, either that or somebody called me. I I also don't, don't remember. Right. Um, uh, and then I called. Probably called his family. Um, called, uh, I don't know initially, I can't say if I initially spoke to him or not, <clears throat> I honestly don't remember, I may have said to somebody, hey, have him call me if he wants to talk, and then he may have done that, uh -huh. um, you know, um, do you, do you know what the circumstances were regarding her death? Mm. Jeez, oh, let me think back, um, Geez, I don't know if it was you know if it was a burglary or something. Uh, yeah, it's. I mean, it's been so many years. I. I mean, I can faintly think that I may have saw a flyer. Yeah. Uh, may have had her picture on it. You know. Um, I may. That's why I say if somebody had called me, I may not have known what her last name was. I may have. I mean, maybe if you told me, I would remember it. Um, Do you remember you know, the first name? <sighs> Shelley. Um, Sherry, I don't know, something maybe, you know, um, like I said, it's been so many years and, um, but from all the years, as far as you can remember, you don't, do you remember ever talking to her? Just Well, as you say, I said earlier, you know, I, I mean, I may have, you know, I may have talked to her. Um, I, yeah, it sounds, I, you know, you mentioned a hospital, maybe you may have talked to her at a hospital. Yeah. Um, yeah, I may have, you know, I'm, I'm thinking back now, you guys are bringing up all these whole memories. No, it kind of dusts um, off the cobwebs. You know, I mean, understand. geez. Um, I'm thinking that, because, I mean, we would date, he would date other people, I would date other people. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, at one point, I mean, he may have been dating her, or I don't know, maybe he was married, I don't even remember. And I'm like, you know what, why are you calling me if you're either dating her or living with her or married to her? Because I, I, I honestly don't remember the time frame. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm like, oh, come on, knock it off. And, I'm, and now I'm thinking, I may, I may have gone to her and said, hey, you know what? You know what, is he dating you? He's, he's bothering me. Um, and so I'm thinking that we had a conversation about that. Um, one or two, maybe. I, I, you know, I, it could have been three. I don't want to say I had three conversations with her. Oh. Like, at, like at her work or at their at their house or? No, I'm thinking that I'm, you know, he obviously must have told me where she worked. 
I'm thinking it was a hospital somewhere in LA and I just I mean I could have been again what year was that where was I working um, You know, I don't, I don't, I'm trying to think of where I, when did you say they got married? I don't know. I think it was like in 85 or 86 or something like that. You know, we, 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 um, we just kind of picked this up. We, you know, we don't know a lot about it. I mean, I could have been working in Hollywood, it sounds like, if, if that's where I was working. Um, so I could have said, okay, well, you know, and I went and talked to her um, and just said, hey, you know what, you know, if he's dating you, he's, he's keeps calling me, why don't you tell him to knock it off or whatever? And, you know, because I probably would have told him to knock it off. You would you have know. told John. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, I would have said, hey, you know, and again. But you wanted to tell her, too? You wanted them both to know? Yeah. I mean, you know, if you get, you're getting her called, and I'm try, I'm faintly remembering uh, when Scott moved in with me in 1993, uh, sometime in 93, because I met Scott in, in, in April of 92. I was teaching D.A.R.E. up in Oregon. Mm -hmm. um, and um, he moved down. In fact, he may have moved down in 92. 92 or 93, there was a big earthquake. No, when was a big earthquake? No, 94. 94, yeah. So he... I think Scott might have moved into 93, sometime in 93. Excuse me. Um, I haven't had my breakfast yet. Um, and so, um, excuse me. Um, and so I faintly recall that John may have called a few times, and I'm like, hey, you know, I've got, he goes, oh, can you, I think, you can you talk or something? I'm like, you know, no, I can't talk. I've got, you know, I'm living with somebody. Right. You know, and, and that could have been a few times. It could have been once. could have been twice. could have been three times. Yeah, I don't know, you know. Um, and that's during the period of time of the earthquake that you're... Well, no, probably, probably after Scott moved in. I think I met Scott in April of 92. Oh, okay, right before. April of 92, because I, I, I stopped teaching D.A.R.E. I think I stopped teaching here sometime in '92. Mm -hmm. um, and when you and when you say that you may have, um, you know, that you talked to his wife, said, "Hey," or you know, I don't know if it was. I guess it wasn't his wife at that time, girlfriend or whatever. And yeah, said, I don't know if it was his wife or his right. girl. I, I, I mean, quite when, honestly, I don't even remember. When you said like, <laughs> "Hey, you know, he's calling me. He needs to knock it off or what have you." I mean, was that was that civil? Was there? I mean, oh yeah, it, no, there was not. I don't think there was anything. It was if the conversation lasted. A, a, a few minutes I can't even remember and what is it like you know we went out to lunch or anything right but there was but no like arguments or fights I, I or it didn't so. get heated or anything like not that not that I recall no I mean would, I would think that would stand out I would think now again that's not standing out in my mind um, you know so you didn't have any problems with her then no you didn't have any issues with her no I mean but let, me, let me ask you it seems like you didn't have any issue now did she have an issue with you as far as oh. because now you're telling her, hey, you know, tell him to stop calling. Now she, you know, she's like, hey. you know, you figure she'd be threatened oh. by you. You know, I, I don't know. I mean, from what you remember as far as when you talked to her, maybe you didn't take it as serious, <laughs> but maybe you know, did she? Maybe she was bugging. You mean like was she throwing things at me or something? Or well, no, just you know, as far as you're trying to explain, like, hey, have him stop calling me. You know, stop playing games. You know, I, I tell you. It, yeah. If the conversation, I couldn't even tell you how long the conversation, if you said, did it last a half an hour, did it last three minutes, did it last 20 minutes, I can't even remember it's been so long ago, you know. Um, you just remember talking to her, telling her. Yeah, and that's that why you said, how many times you talked to her? I don't know how many times I talked to her. Maybe it was once, maybe it was twice, maybe it was three times. You know, I, I honestly don't know. Um, right. I, I don't know what year it was. Um, if, you, if he said, I met her in such and such year, I'd go, okay, well, I don't even know what year, year he met her. Um, I graduated from UCLA in 1982, okay, I graduated in 82, like I said, I don't know if he graduated, I know he was a, a, a little older than I was, so I don't know if he graduated a year before or two years before, because people are on different, um, either on the four-year program or the five-year program. Mm -hmm. um, what year did you come on the job? 83. Oh, so almost pretty much immediately after you got out of school? 
Yeah, I worked at a law firm for a year um, and then came on the job. But in, anyway, in regards to seeing him, not seeing him, we went to friends' weddings that were, you know, uh, from UCLA. Um, I may have gone to some of his friends' weddings from where he worked. Um, he may have gone to things with me, uh, you know. Um, I, you know, I mean, I, I, I don't know how many times we went to do things, you know, uh -huh. or didn't do things. Right. Like uh -huh. I said, his sister, um, uh, I know his sister, uh, his brother, his sister I know stayed at my townhouse a number of times. I couldn't tell you how many times. Right. Um, I would watch his brother, you know, uh, shoot, uh, take pictures at a basketball game or, or two. Where was your townhouse at? In Granada Hills. Um, uh, below the Odyssey. I don't know um, exactly. Oh, I'm sorry. The 405 and the 5. Um, the 405. No, the, the 405 turns into the 5 to 118. Um, they they came down in the earthquake. Okay. So. Okay. And you were saying, when you went to see her, do you would you remember if it was at her house or at, at the place she worked at? No, I'm thinking that I'm thinking that it was probably. For some reason, I want to say that the hospital seemed that, you know, if, if you say he got married in 85 or something, I'm thinking that, you know, maybe the hospital was on my way to work in Hollywood. I mean, that's kind of sounding familiar. Um, Would you have gone on duty? Oh, uh, no, I, I'm sure I wouldn't have. I, no, no I'm, I'm pretty good about not doing stuff. Oh. You know, I mean, no, I'm not saying that, you know, you haven't done <laughs> stuff on duty. But I, I, I would have. I mean, I would have been working with somebody, oh, yeah. you know. So I wouldn't. I wouldn't think. I mean, I try to avoid doing stuff on duty. I wouldn't. I wouldn't think. I mean, I try to avoid doing stuff on duty. Oh, so, okay. um, so you would have gone. If it was en route to work. You more than likely you would have gone to her work and had this discussion with her. I mean, that's sounding familiar. Uh -huh. I mean, that's now that you guys are bringing this stuff up. Um, I mean, it sound that sounds familiar. Um, but again, I mean. You know, what's I mean, what's this got to do with me dating him and you know her getting killed? I mean, I I don't you know I don't have anything to do with it. And you got something that's somebody said you know whatever. I mean, well, like we said, we we just literally got this the other day, and and you're going through it. Yeah. And you see, and you somebody said, your oh, name. Well, Nick's next door. Right. And, <laughs> and so you know, I mean, obviously, it's like we recognize yeah. the name. We know that you know you work yeah. next door to us, and so. We're trying to get some background. We're trying to figure this out. I mean, this is from a long time ago. Oh, I know. And you know, and, and, and things have been kind of slow for us. And so, you know, Chief Beck has said, hey, you know, I want you guys working. I don't want you just sitting around reading the paper. Yeah. So he's kind of pushing some older cases out even to the guys that yeah. work active cases because, you know, and so we see this and we're just like, oh, yeah. well, we, you know, we want to talk to you about it. But, of course, the only reason we did it here is because we're getting into some pretty personal stuff no, in I your relationship. It. You know, my, I, my and, husband's yeah. on the job yeah. and, and, and we've and been so married we don't, you know, we don't a long take the time. We don't want to take the risk. We don't want to take the risk. We're in one of those interview rooms. No, and even when the door closes, it. someone's going to get no. supplies and see us on a monitor or hears yeah. or whatever. No, and, I appreciate uh, it. I mean, I you know, appreciate Like I said. That's where people go when there's orals. You know, when they're doing orals, <laughs> yeah. guys will go in there and try oh, and watch. And like, I, oh, what are the answers to the questions? You know? I didn't know that. Yeah. So so we just we just want to afford you the most privacy and confidentiality we could. No, I appreciate it. Like I said, I mean. This goes way back, and I mean, it was very sad, you know. Obviously, um, I I haven't, I, you know, I when we were in college, some of us would go down to his house in San Diego. I, I went down to his house with him, you know, um, with with him. And I know I, I'm trying to think of some other people that may have gone down. Is that where this. he grew up? Is down there? Yeah, down in San Diego. Oh, okay. Um, I know his dad was a professor at San Diego State. I don't know if he still is. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what happened to his sister. Don't know what happened to his brother. Um, you know, I'm sure his dad's probably retired by now. He was, I think, older um, even back then. Right. Um, and I, I can't even tell you the last time I had any contact with any of them. It's been so long. Did he tell um, you what happened? Like what he heard from the detectives or the police or? You know what? He may have. Um, for some reason, I'm thinking that, I mean, again, this is like 50, drugs or something. I mean, I think I faintly remember him mentioning something maybe about cocaine. Um, that she was involved with that? You know, I don't know that he said she was involved or they thought she was. 
you know, again, it's been so long. I, you know, he could have mentioned, he could have told me the whole story of what happened. And, I mean, like I said, I am faintly remember even between him or the flyer um, that there was some kind of a burglary, um, well, you know. Let me ask you, did the detectives ever reach out to you? Ever, no, ever? no one's ever talked to me. I don't think anybody ever talked to me about mm-hmm. about him. Um, it seems like back then I, you, you know, would have been Well, I, I take... I'm thinking that I did talk to a detective. Um, God. Well, what division was it? In Van Nuys. Hmm. And where was I working? Um, 1986. I would have been working in Devonshire. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm thinking that I did speak to somebody. Oh, really? I okay. couldn't tell you who it was. <laughs> Because it doesn't, it doesn't it was say anything. probably on the phone. Okay. Um, Would it have been somebody in regards to this or just... Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, I don't even know if you said a name, if I would remember it. Because I worked Van Nuys for a while. Oh, um, you did? Yeah, I worked... Um, detectives patrol? No, I worked detectives. Uh-huh. Um, when did I go to Van Nuys? <coughs> I worked Devonshire till 88. Then I went to Dare till 92. I worked twice at Van Nuys. Um, Both as detectives. Yeah. Sometime in the 90s. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, I, I know before I busted my leg up, I was there in 98, because that year sticks out because I had a really bad leg injury. Um, and I was there prior to that. but. I couldn't tell you what year. It was just a few years. I made detective, I think, in 93, 93. So um, I was at Van Nuys, and then I went back, and then I had a leg injury, and then they transferred me to Devonshire because I couldn't drive. Mm-hmm. I couldn't drive very far with the my bad leg injury. So, um, but yeah, I, I, I think I talked to somebody. Um, Remember any, uh, would you remember any of the conversation as far as what they were looking for? Or? <laughs> Couldn't say. I mean, they may have told me. I said, hey, you know, I went to school with him. Um, I either, they either somebody called me or I saw the fly. I may have seen the flyer at yeah. that point, and I called up. If, if someone's name was on the flyer, I may have called to speak to them. I said, hey, if there's anything I can do, you know, um, call me. This is where I work. You know, I went to, uh, you know, uh, school with them. Mm-hmm. Um, couldn't say. I couldn't tell you who it was. But you do remember that that someone you think reached out to you. You mean a detective? Yeah, <laughs> called you up and talked to you. Or I called them. One of the two. But yeah, I. You know, I, I remember talking to somebody, but I'm thinking it was a man. <laughs> I'm sure there's probably more men back then. Yeah, probably right. More. Yeah. But, <laughs> um, so again, that's I mean that's really all I can remember about that. Yeah. Let me get back uh, to as far as when you said that uh, John was calling you to to see you, and during that time you felt that he was felt he was either seeing her, or was he engaged or married? Did, did you know? I don't remember. I, you know, I don't know. Uh-huh. Um, I, uh huh. Well, let's did, see. My uh, husband. Did it ever appear? Well, no, no, that would have been, Scott moved in 93, so that would have been, you said 86 or 85 or something. Scott's your only husband? You've never yeah, been married? Yeah, no, never been married. I got married in, I think, 96, but no, I, I, no, I got married in 96, but he moved in in 93. Mm-hmm. But uh, during that time that you were seeing John, uh, you know, was he acting kind of, you know, kind of squirrely or kind of sneaking around when he'd hook up with you or anything like that? To make you think, hey, you may, yeah, this well, guy he probably is. was. I mean, <laughs> I mean, because from the impression I get is you've known him a long time. Well, let's see. From what? Early I met 80s? him in '78. No, I yeah, oh. I met him in school. I started UCLA in '78. <coughs> so, um, so you know him well during yeah. that period of time. Yeah, I mean, was he acting squirrely? You know, I don't even remember where he was living then. Mm-hmm. You know, I. Well, after I don't. He, well, let me ask you, after he hooked up with... Uh, you mean if he was living on Roscoe or wherever else he was living? Right. 
Well, after he hooked up with uh, with Sherry, do you know uh, where they were living? No, you asked me that already. Uh -huh. And I said, well, obviously they were living in Van Nuys Division. Yeah. <laughs> um, I may have known. Mm -hmm. I mean, I you know, again, I you know, did he ever give me the address? I, I, maybe. You know, I don't remember. I mean, I don't know. Because the only reason I'm asking you again is because as we've been talking, I know some stuff has come to you because you're like, oh, it's like you know. So that's why I'm asking if you've ever been to the house. And when you said Van Eyes Division, you know, I'm just. I'm sure he could have told me. I mean, he could have told me. He could have told me where he lived. Mm -hmm. um, Did you ever have gone there? I don't think I've ever gone there. That's what I'm saying. I don't. I don't want to say no. I've never gone there. And then you say, "Oh, I was at a party," because I, 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 I don't. You know, I don't think so. Yeah. Um, like I said, we've got these friends. We have different. We have parties. Um, my house, their house. I, I just don't think John ever came to. And again, you know, at one point because we we knew people from school together. I knew different people. He knew different people. I knew people that he knew from his work, um, you know, that lived in the valley, um, mm -hmm. you know. So as far as for social events Excuse or anything, me. I mean, no it's, I mean, you're not sure if you ever been to the house because. But it's safe to say that would have been the only time, like for something social. Yeah, if I went there for something social, yeah. Okay. I mean, because I know you you went to talk to her at, at the hospital uh, regarding this issue with John, to you know, kind of like, hey, you know, what's going to happen here with this thing? But would this ever have followed up to her house when you went to talk to her to say, hey, you know what? I I don't even know that I knew where they lived. I you know that's what I'm saying. I don't if I knew where they lived and I'd been there if it was for something social. I, I would, I'm, I'm, and I can't see how many times I, I saw her face to face. You know, he lived on Roscoe. Did I ever see her there? I don't know. I mean, I may have seen her at his apartment on Roscoe. Mm -hmm. I may have met her there. I, you know, I, I mean. But you didn't have any issues with her, right? No, I mean, you know, obviously, if he was dating me and dating her, I probably said, hey, pick or something, you know, fair. you know, back That's then. Fair. Um, yeah. I can't say that we ever screamed or, yeah, you know, it's, I mean, he was a pretty mellow guy, you know, um, I think I was pretty mellow. I, I don't, I don't think we had some big, huge blow up to say, you know, why we stopped dating or, you know, and I even think that when I was dating him, I was probably, like I said, I was probably going out with other guys and he was probably going out with other girls. Right. You know, I don't know. I mean, would you remember if she snapped on you and just like hey man it's my man you know you get it leave him alone you know blah 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 that kind of stuff you know and would you remember an incident like that i mean because that would be like what uh, well you know and maybe that happened i mean uh, gosh i you know it's been so long ago i you know i just i mean that's not ringing a bell mm -hmm. um because the times i've seen you around at our office i'm crazy you know, but you're always <laughs> you know, kind of like real I mean, you seem kind of bubbly. Oh, I'm. Pr I'm. You know, people think I'm really hyper. Um, but I can. I mean, I can get. I can get upset. You know, and and, and then I forget five seconds later. You know, you know how guys razz you and you go, ah. You know. Um, I mean, I've done that in the office. You know, but it's like, and then I'm, you know, and then I'm, you know, yeah. uh, you know. I, I mean, people water think, under the bridge. Yeah, I mean, it's like people think I'm crazy, and then they think I'm crazy at home, and I'm, you know, more. I'm, I'm a hyper person at work. I'm, you know, I, I enjoy my job. I get excited. I, you know, um, I, I enjoy the job. I've always enjoyed the job. Um, well, you got a good gig, so. <laughs> you know, um, so you know, I, I, you know, I don't know. It's like, like I said, this stuff's been so long ago. Um, you know, I'm sure as soon as I walk out of here, I'll go. Oh shoot, I. 25 things I'll remember, um, you know. But you'll call um, us, or I mean, you'll just come over our desk yeah, and tell us. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know what else you need to know. Like I said, you know, we, we knew friends together. A lot of the friends that, you know, that we socialized in the dorms, I would say, I mean, there was a group of us that, 
Um, we were all really close. I mean, even this one guy I was thinking of, you know, um, Diana Basta. We were all really close. I haven't talked to her in a million years. Um, Diana Basta being a friend of you and John's, or yeah, we all lived on the dorms on the f dorms together. I don't know if she lived on the same. We, I'm trying to think. I think I know John lived on our floor because his roommate was Dave Newman. Dave Newman now is a big, huge, big shot, whatever, movie producer, director, something. I don't know. Um, and that was John's roommate. Yeah, oh, and okay. then the guys that lived across from me, um, Jim Jaskell and. Roy Sakabu, Sakabu, something like that. Um, they lived across from me. Um, Diana Basta, I don't know if she lived on our floor. Maybe she was the RA. Um, Diane Sherman, because um, I still remain friends with Diane Sherman. Um, not that I'm not friends with the other people, I just don't see them. Um, a gal named Smita, um, Sally. Kathleen, you know, so we, we were all on the floor. I mean, some of them were athletes, some of them weren't. You know, I said, John played basketball, his brother played basketball, I played basketball at UCLA for two years. Um, one of the girls swam on the team, one was on the crew team. So we all did stuff together. Um, and then I'd say after we all graduated, um, we went to weddings, you know, I went to weddings. Um, uh, but Sherry wasn't part of this circle. No, I don't even know how he how he met her. I don't even know where. I mean, I don't know where he met her so from. I don't even know. If he told me where he met her from. I mean, he may have told me. I, okay. you know, that's not ringing a bell. Um, and there was lots. I mean, you know, there's just there was other people that knew other people. Um, you know, that were friends of everybody's. Um, you know. Um, I mean, I don't know what else to tell you. Well, one of the concerns I had is looking at some of the notes is uh, some of Sherry's friends said that you and her were having a problem <laughs> because of the John situation. <laughs> well, I, number one, I don't know who her friends are because yeah. um, again, I don't, I don't recall if he did tell me where he met her. I don't know even who these friends are. A problem. Like I said, if I spoke to her, I mean, I'll go on as far and as a limb, and I don't even want to say I spoke to her five times because that's probably not even true. I, I can't even remember. Um, again, did I meet him at her place? He, you know, he lived on Roscoe for, I think, uh, quite a while, but I couldn't tell you how long he lived on Roscoe. And the only reason I remember the place now is because it's like a huge dope, dope place now where they, you know, it, it may have been back then, but, you know, maybe we didn't know back then. Um, I could have met her there. I could have, you know, uh, I, you know. I don't even know that I met any of their friends. I, I, you know, I don't. I, I, I can't say that. I don't know that that's a true statement. Well, that's what I'm reading is that you guys have problems with each other and words are being exchanged, and it's all relating to John. <laughs> you so. know what? I, 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 I just I can't say. Can't say no. I, that, that doesn't even ring a bell. So I mean, I mean, it seemed like yeah, you would recall something if somebody's I would, going I would off think, on you, right? I would think. I mean, I would think. I would think. Yeah, because um, yeah, it's. But that I, you know. Because it seems like your relationship with John was kind of. I mean, you've known each other for a lot of years. Yeah, it was just kind of. It was like. <sighs> but it doesn't seem to me, from what you tell me. I mean, we were never engaged. I mean, right. it wasn't like we were planning to get married. Um, you know, it was like, it, it was, uh, I don't know how to describe it. I mean. Would you say there wasn't a lot of drama in this relationship? Oh, no, I don't think there was drama. Okay. Yeah, so I mean. That's why I'm asking as far as what the friends are saying in regards to this, you know, the problems that they're saying you were having with, with Sherry. I mean, it seems you know, like the relationship is just going on even Plane. That just uh, I, I that that I don't have a recollection of that at all. No. No. And because from what you're telling me is when you guys met at the hospital, uh, I mean you guys talked, but it wasn't from what you recall confrontational I don't think so. from either side. No. I I mean I'm trying to you know turn my memory back you know, <laughs> and I'm trying I can't even I can't even picture the you know picture the the conversation i mean i can't even picture the conversation well let me ask you i mean at the hospital it never got to the point where people are going hey hey you know 
go to everybody go to your own corner type of thing i don't think so nothing like that i don't think so yeah. i mean i really don't i mean if you if, you know if you say people said that that's not ringing a bell to me at all i mean it's not i mm. mean that that's not ringing a bell was there, ever, at all. was there ever a time when you and sherry were talking and john had to maybe go like hey you guys relax you know or anything like that i think so about you know ever going to a house and having a dispute like that you know i'm just if i met her ever at his apartment <clears throat> maybe i mean maybe we could have met it i could have met at her apartment i'm thinking that the hospital thing that sounds familiar that i i met her there i just can't say that i've ever again was i there with other people i don't i i it, i don't know um i don't think i ever met her there or him there um meaning one or the other i don't think so i but, real i just i can't i don't think so because i mean i know the way my wife is at our house she wouldn't want my own girlfriends there you know so i don't know if maybe she had the same mentality towards you if, as far as you ever well, being there or being you know, welcome there you know because it's you know what if somebody said i was there when they were there then that's possible mm -hmm. but i just i i don't recall i mean i don't think so i don't i, I it's not sounding familiar yeah because i guess basically what i'm asking is you know were you ever welcome to the house like you know hey oh come over yeah come on over i'm in a barbecue you know a dinner party christmas party whatever you know, I, I don't know no, don't. i'm just trying to think you know like i said because there were so many of us that the, the two Dianes, um, Jim Jaskell, Roy, um, Smita, this gal Smita, another friend of ours, Beth. I, she uh, passed. It seems like everybody I know is passing away. Hmm. Um, she passed away. She was a child diabetic and and got very ill. Um, we would all socialize. Um, like I said, I don't think John ever. It's hard. I don't want to say he never socialized with us. Um, you know, it, it's been, I, I'd have to go almost go back and look at pictures because I take pictures. I mean, I usually, when I have, I go to functions, I have 10,000 pictures, okay? I'm a picture nut. Mm -hmm. Let me ask, when you were seeing John, would you, I, I take it he would pick you up in his car, you'd go in her, you know, your car, things of that nature, when you guys would go out? Well, yeah, I mean. Do you remember what he, what he drove? Well, I know at one time he drove a, either a 240 or 260Z. <laughs> Any other cars that stand out in your mind? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know how long he drove that 240 or 260Z for. Yeah. Um, and the only reason I say that is because I think I may have a picture of it um, with him in it. Um, what kind of car did you have back then? Let's see. What year? Or are you like one of those young cops that's like, oh, I got a paycheck and bought a new car? Oh, no, no, no. I've only had like a few cars in my whole life. So what did you have when you came on the job? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, my first car was a 68 Chevelle. Mm, 68 Chevelle. And then I had... Toyota. Hmm. Some kind of a Toyota. Mm -hmm. um, hatchback, but I forget what the name of it was. Um, like a Corolla or Tercel or Tercel. something like that. Tercel. Yeah. And then oh, my I had, had my truck. Did you ever have any problems with your cars? Like what? Just anything in general, you know, car wrecks anything stolen yeah. no my car's never been stolen oh no crashed hit and run um uh, hit and, i mean my tercel was hit and run like and i got i got pictures of the hit and runs um yeah i don't think any of my cars had ever been stolen no, no. my cars haven't been stolen okay. broken into um none of that huh Oh yeah, they, my cars have been broken into, um, you know, but no cars have ever been stolen. Mm -hmm. How long 
Well, when, tell me about this uh, the car getting broken into. Well, my car has been broken into several times. Oh, really? Did you ever lose anything, or? Yeah. Now that you mention it, let's see. I had a gun that was stolen. Mm -hmm. um, I had other stuff that was stolen. Not your duty gun, was it? No. Oh, that's good. Um, was it ever recovered? I don't know. No, I don't think so. Not that I know of. Never been notified. No. The car's been broken into, yeah, several times. Where did that happen when your gun was taken? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to remember. I'm sure you guys must know. Because um, my car was broken into in Ventura. I think in Santa Monica. I have relatives that live in Santa Monica and Venice. Um, Who lives there? My uncle. Well, I, I had several uncles. Um, yeah, could have been Santa Monica, um, <clears throat> Venice. My my car's been broken into in Ventura before. Mm -hmm. So. Is your mom still around? Or? Mm hmm. Yeah. Your dad? Yeah, but yeah. I don't really have much of a relationship with my dad. So, I couldn't tell you where he lives if you're, <coughs> you want to know. Oh, really? <coughs> no. Hmm. Yeah, well, couldn't tell you. Well, like I said, as we were looking at the case, and, you know, we had read the notes as far as from uh, Sherry's friends saying you, you guys had problems or words, and they got heated. You know, and the reason we're asking you is they had mentioned that an incident at her work had occurred, and the They've also told us that an incident at her house occurred. You know what? And this is at her house <laughs> during the period of time that they're married. <laughs> That's just not sounding familiar at all. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, you know what? I. That's just not sound. I, 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 again, if someone says that I was at her house and I had an incident with her, I, I, you know, I that just doesn't sound. I. I, I you know, was John there? Did John say this happened because, and other people were there? I, I just, I don't recall. I mean, it just doesn't sound, you know, familiar. And this is an incident where you showed up, you weren't supposed to show up, and things got heated. At his house? Yeah. <laughs> that I, you know, I, that just doesn't sound familiar. I Nothing. mean, uh, I, you know, it's not sounding familiar. So not at all. Now you're saying not familiar because it's just something well, you remember, or it's well, just you know what? I would have then I'd have to say I don't remember because I don't remember. I it, that doesn't sound familiar. I. I mean, would you, you know, remember something like that in your life? If well, I would think, some but sort of drama involving you know, the other woman type of thing. Well, did you ever uh, fight with her? You mean like we fought? Yeah. Did you ever yeah. duke it out with her? No, I don't think so. I mean, you'd remember that, right? That would be pretty. Yeah, I would think so. I Pretty mean, specific. You know, yeah, like I said, I mean, dramatic. obviously, uh, I, you know, I mean, it just doesn't sound familiar. I mean, I mean, what are they saying? So I, I, I fought with her. So, so now, I mean, I, 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 I I'm get, getting the jump, the leap. Excuse me, I haven't eaten. Um, they're saying, okay, I fought with her, so I must have killed her. I mean, come on. I mean, that's, you know, I. I I don't even know who these people are. I, I can't even say I met any of these people. I mean, that's it's insane. Mm -hmm. I, I, if it happened, I honestly don't remember it. That's all I can tell you. I mean... I mean, but... I don't know. I mean, would it be something you would remember? I mean, because it's... I don't know if any other intense incidents in your life that have occurred, I mean, you'd recall those, right? I mean... Well... Like a use of force at work or car crash something you're involved in you'd be like yeah I you would think i would remember i mean i would think if it was something that crazy i mean i i can't say you say how many fights have you gotten into you know yeah. in your life you know i mean a few at work well um, fights at work are kind of know, different because we've all had uses of force or whatever but well, i, mean, I haven't it, even had even a lot of those I mean, right but you know if you're if you're actually you know i mean i played like if if dan and i got mad at each other and we threw blows in the squad room i mean 20 years later i, I would remember it i mean i would I, think would i pretty, would remember it but unique. that's that's what i'm saying that's not sounding familiar to me at all i well, mean I, I, let me ask you i mean throughout your life 
you know, would you remember the number of fights you've been involved in? And I don't mean kind of like a bump or something, just a, a physical fight where you, everybody's hitting each other, scratching, pulling, you know, whatever. Maybe. I mean, I can't say I've been in a lot. You know, I've played sports. Yeah. You know, you get into scuffles there and... Mm -hmm. um, and you recall some of those, right? I mean, just... Yeah, I can recall of some of them. Game, game, yeah, games get in camps. Know, but like I said, this, you saying this, this is just not ringing a bell. Nothing. I mean, but, you know, I, I don't know what to tell you. It's, it's just, that's just not ringing a bell to me. But it'd be something... I would think I would remember. Yeah. I mean, I'm... Uh, if you're in this... I would think so, too. If you're in this other girl's house and but words are exchanged, I mean, you figure, you recall. I would think... Especially if it got physical, right? Well, I would think. And it's relating to, you know, a guy that you were dating and well, but she's dating now, you know, and it's just yeah. kind of like a whole love triangle type of thing. I mean, you figure you remember that, right? Well, I would think. So... I mean, I don't want to still tell you. Yeah. No, because I'm, I mean, I'm trying to, I'm looking at the notes and these people are kind of, I mean, they're pointing the finger at you. Well, and I mean, that's not ringing a bell to me, so, uh -huh. you know, I don't know, you know, it's, uh, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, that just sounds crazy to me. Yeah. So you, offhand, you don't recall ever going into her house and having words and physically you know, no, attacking I mean, her, her attacking you. No, nothing like that. No, I mean that's no. Nothing. No, no, not at all. Okay. Well, on some of the, uh, on this case, you know, this is it occurred in '86, right? Uh, detectives processed the scene, things of that nature. Uh, they did fingerprints and all that stuff. You know, the, well, you know the standard mm -hmm. stuff. I mean, you've been doing this longer than I have. Uh, well, I don't know about that. <laughs> I got 26 years on, yeah. going on 26. 19, so. <laughs> but, you know, as they processed everything, uh, they did the best they could at that time, and they looked at a lot of a lot of people and different things in this case. And you're right. I mean, if you guys are claiming that I'm a suspect, then, you know, I, I got a problem with, you know, with that. Okay. Okay? So... You know, if you're if you're doing this as an interrogation, you're saying, "Hey, I'm a suspect." Well, I, now I got a problem with you know. Now you're accusing me of this. Is that what you're Is that what you're saying? We're trying to figure out what happened, Stephanie. Uh, well, I'm. I was. You know, I'm just saying. The, you know, do I need to get a lawyer if you're accusing me of I this? Mean, you know, you don't have to. I mean, you know, I'm just, you're here of your own free will. I mean, no, you, you well, I know, but I mean, I you mean, know you're, not, you're not under arrest. You can walk out. Whenever you can leave you whenever you like. Well, but, you know, it, I, I'm trying <coughs> to give you some background of you know how I knew him, and now you're telling me that some somebody's saying that we had this big old fight, and I don't even know what you're talking about. Um, you know, and I don't want to you know get in trouble for something that I didn't even do, or you're saying I did something. Okay, yeah, we understand. I mean, how would you guys like it if the tables were turned on you? I understand. No, um, no, that's what we're telling you. I mean, you're free to go whenever you want. If if this makes you uncomfortable and you want to, well, you now you're starting to make me uncomfortable. The thing is, I mean, detectives did what they could at that time on the crime scene. Okay, and the burglary thing you're talking about—that is an angle that they looked at. Angle, but now we're looking at everything else on the case because nobody was ever arrested <laughs> on the case. I, I don't know that, or not. Okay. Now what we'd like to do is. Obviously, you know about all the DNA stuff and things of the nature that, you know, gets done on cases nowadays. You know, if we asked you for a, a DNA swab, would you be willing to give us one? Maybe. Because <laughs> now, 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 yeah, because now, now I'm thinking I probably need to talk to a lawyer. Okay. I mean, because well, I, I know how this stuff works, okay? Don't get me wrong. You're right. I have been doing this a long time. Yeah. And, and I wish I had been recording this because because now it sounds like, you know, there's... You know, you're selling these people, say I'm a fighting with her, and now it sounds like you're trying to, you know, I've been doing this a long time. Yeah, we know. Okay, and it, and now it almost sounds like you're trying to pin something on me. No, now I, I got that sense. Well, what it gets to on these on these cases, and you know it as well as I do, our job is to identify and eliminate suspects. I can't believe this. So if we ask you to a point to give us a DNA sample, a buccal swab, so we can identify or eliminate you, would you be willing to do that? Maybe. Because I know this, I, 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 I well, that's where we're at too. I mean, because 
right now, from looking at the evidence, it's you know it's possible we may have some DNA at the location. That's great. And we're going to do what we can to try to put this thing together. And your name's in the book. These people are pointing at you for whatever reason. <laughs> I don't know why. And that's just crazy. I mean, that's just that's absolutely crazy. And it would be irresponsible on our part not to look at it. I know. You guys have to do your job, and, and I guess I'm going to have to contact somebody. So that's fair. I mean, because I, I know how this stuff works. Sure. I mean, I, 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 I just can't believe it. That's. I, I mean, we we understand that. I mean, if we were in your position, I mean, we would feel the same way. I, I just can't even believe it. I mean, it's just. I, I mean, I'm shocked. I'm really shocked. That somebody would be blame, saying that I did this. I mean, we had a fight, and so I went and killed her. I mean, come on. Well, that's okay. All right. Well, thanks for giving me the courage. I wish I could take Thanks for your time. Yeah, thank you. All right, Stephanie, take care. All right. Crazy. Okay. Okay. Stephanie, you know you have the right to remain silent. Do you understand? Yes. Anything you say may be used against you in court. Do you understand? Yes. You have the right to the presence of an attorney before and during any question. Do you understand? Yes. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed for you free of charge before any questioning if you want. Do you understand? Yes. Do you want to talk to us right now? No. Okay. All right. Okay. This then. is crazy. Okay. This is absolutely... I'm like, I'm like in shock. I'm totally in shock. We are back on the record in People versus Lazarus. Shortly before noon, the uh, jury announced they have a verdict. We will take the verdict at this time. Before I buzz the jurors out, though, I want to remind everyone that this is a court of law, and I will not tolerate any outbursts of any kind in reaction to this verdict. Buzz out the jury. <coughs>
Good afternoon. I understand you have reached a verdict in this matter, is that correct? Yes, sir. All right, please provide the verdict to the bailiff. The clerk will please read the verdict. People of the State of California versus Stephanie Eileen Lazarus. Case number BA 357423. We, the jury in the above entitled action, find the defendant, Stephanie Eileen Lazarus, guilty of the crime of murder of Sherry Rasmussen in violation of Penal Code Section 187A, a felony, as charged in Count 1 of the information. We further find the murder was of the first degree. We further find the allegation that in the commission of the above offense, the defendant, Stephanie Eileen Lazarus, personally used a firearm, namely a handgun, within the meaning of Penal Code Section 12022.5, subsection A1 to be true. This eighth day of March in the year 2012, juror number 9, 